We can wear Hennessy. Honestly, it's an honor. I guess words can't even describe how I feel. Like, I feel a sense of pride. My name is Fitzroy Hoyt. I'm a visual artist and a father of the artist Safia Hoyt. Being able to collaborate with my daughter is a huge testimony as an artist. My name is Safia Hoyt. And I love Hennessy, the brand, even the drink, since before this project. So it is an honor to have my art be a part of this project. Working with Hennessy, Honestly, it's an honor and having the opportunity to impact a community and initiate change is amazing. Because my dad is an artist, I have been practicing it ever since I was. I was able to hold a pencil or a paintbrush. I love working with my dad, you know. I appreciate the creative nudge. Words can't even describe how I feel. Like, I feel a sense of pride on being the chosen artist among the others that were put up. The inspiration behind the design, I looked at my dad because, as you can see, there are two Moko Jumbies. That's my dad's signature. He does and he paints a lot of Moko Jumbies. So, when I initially thought about basketballers, I'm like, they are the stilt walkers of the court. So I'm like, how do I bring in our Caribbean culture, carnival, and then also bring the whole aspect of basketball, the sport? And I tried to marry the two, and I said the Moko Jumbi would be the perfect motif for that. If you look at the Moko Jumbi's costume, you can see that the landscape is also incorporated. A beautiful island, you know, blue skies, or seas, or northern range. And then also we have our national grids, the Scarlet Ibis, some of our beautiful flora and fauna. So the Moko Jumbi is an old carnival and inspired by that. And also you can see that the Moko Jumbi's faces, they are autonomous. So I want the people, when they look at the Moko Jumbi, to be able to resonate with it. No matter what race or what gender or where you come from, what your belief system is, you should be able to look at that and feel comfortable on the court. To hear my daughter speaking about me, you know, I feel a sense of accomplishment. It's, it just brings hope, you know, into my heart. Being able to work with my daughter, you know, on, on this level, it's like the icing on the cake, or it's, it's like destiny. Through her art, she's emerging, you know, and becoming her full self people that would use this court is that I hope that it brings them together. I think that basketball, even though it's a competitive sport, I think it has the potential to change a lot of lives and it has the potential to foster a sense of togetherness and love amongst people of different backgrounds, different beliefs. And I really hope that when they go to that court, they feel a sense of empowerment and they are able to, how to say, appreciate where they come from and feel comfortable in that space, you know? have more creative spaces and add to our landscape, add to our, the aesthetics, you know, and that uplifts and it could be healing, it could art, there's art that could heal in every way and visually I think, yeah, it's important that it's there, you know, I hope they appreciate it.